as you remember before, you couldn't step on it. Not anymore. Yo, 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 what is up guys? Thank you for coming back to the channel. Please subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. But first off, a little housekeeping. Want to give a huge shout out to uh, Virgil at the glove shop. Send me this sick ass fucking care package. Got two boxes of these. I took one to work. Um, and a box of these. Uh, so I'm gonna save these two for home. And he also sent me this unreleased model of these gloves. They're like super textured. So I'm gonna try those out and let you guys know how they are. So do me a favor, go follow at the glove shop and check out their website to get some gloves. I believe I still have a discount code under them. So if you go buy some gloves, LDM15, and you should get like 15% off. So these are really good gloves. I'm not just saying it just because he hooks me up with the gloves. I'm saying it because I use these shits at work and at home and like, you're not gonna find better latex gloves than these. Like these last like a while. Like they don't rip as easy. They're really grippy and they're just fucking badass gloves. So if you guys are like me and you work on your own cars or work at a shop or something like that, highly suggest checking them out. But as you guys can tell, since I'm out of breath, you guys are probably wondering what the fuck I'm on right now, but I'm not on anything. I'm actually just high on life cause I just fixed the fucking Lexus. I'm gonna go out and show you guys right now. Super excited. So here we got the Lexus. This time I'm not fucking with you guys. I actually fixed it. Uh, what I went ahead and did was, let me get the light. Got home and I was like fucking trying to figure this out. I was thinking for sure it was gonna be the ECU, but then I had in the back of my head like it might not be. Stan says he thinks that something's still up with the throttle position sensor. So what I went ahead and did was just switch this whole throttle body with the other Lexus. And while I was there, since the fuel pressure regulators were right there and they were pretty exposed, I just went in head and switched those to this Lexus. And sure enough, when I went to start it, it started up just fine. Was able to redline, full throttle, half throttle, whatever the fuck throttle you want to do. So, I'll show you guys right now. Da -da -da -da. So, as you remember before, you couldn't step on it. Not anymore. Uh, yeah. I was so hyped when I got that started. What I'm gonna do is um, put the old throttle body back on that other white Lexus just so I can at least move it out of the way and stuff. And yeah, and then I'm gonna swap the wheels onto this car. That way I could just give it a good test run, make sure everything's cherry before I take it out on the streets to work. But I did notice, however, I have a coolant leak now. So. I think it's this pipe, so you can see, right here, this pipe right here, right there where the light's at, that coolant pipe runs through the throttle body, and it's not leaking from right here, but I think I might have kinked the hose in the back somewhere. Alright, so I ended up having to take off the throttle body again, just get to that fucking hose back there, and this was the culprit. And this was the culprit. Piece of shit fucking little hose. It's literally like right back there behind the intake manifold, behind the wire harness, and under the heater core outlets. So that shit was a real fucking bitch. And I was probably working on this shit for like a good hour trying to find this hose. Or trying to figure out how to get it off. So there's a nice little tear in it. So I'm just gonna grab the one off the other Lexus and put it back on but holy shit if anybody ever has to replace this coolant line soft hose from this hard line to down there wherever the fuck it goes 
I pray that you don't have to do it because that shit was a fucking bitch. I would explain why the coolant kept go going low even though I wasn't really driving it so it's actually good that I found that out right now so now I'm just gonna put it all back together make sure it starts up really good and then uh, swap the wheels onto this car so I could drive it to work tomorrow in the morning because the back right tire is like completely flat can't really see but I'm gonna just put it all back together and hopefully it stays fixed but I'm fucking beyond stoked right now guys so oh my god but let's get to it let's put it back together and put the white Lexus back together over there so I can move that shit out of the way and put this one out there ready to drive started it's running really good right now so and revs up sounds really healthy there's no coolant leaks as of right now so i'm gonna just let it uh pretty much warm up so i can bleed out the air out of the cooling system since i disconnected the heater hoses and stuff so So, giving this thing a good test drive, we're gonna stop by In-N-Out right now, but it's feeling fucking good right now. Holy shit. Fuck yeah. All right guys, so that's it for the, today's episode. Uh, honestly, I was not expecting today to finish this Lexus and get it started, so. Thank you White Lexus for the donor parts. I was starting to give up hope because I was replacing like pretty much everything on that fucking black LS 400. So I'm like super pumped and excited to throw the coilovers on the black LS and then get rid of this white fucking Lexus. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comments, any uh, suggestions, any video ideas you got like that. But until next time guys, peace.